In South Africa, you get two types of pencil bait, the Solon Capensis and the Solon Cylindricus. The one that we're looking for is the Capensis. Once you're out here on the sandy flats, this is exactly the sign that you're looking for. Ken, just come closer and you'll see, you can see right there, that looks like a little keyhole of the old door type. And this is what you're gonna um, look for to find your pencil bait. What you need is you need a little stainless steel wire just like this, just with a little bit of a kink at the end there. So you're gonna push this wire down in the hole and just lock him up and then pull him out very, very gently. And it's as easy as that. When you lower the wire into the hole, you want to make sure that it meets no resistance whatsoever. And when you start pulling out, if you're successful, you'll see the water starts bubbling out the top like that. Pull out very gently, otherwise you might break it up. That is the pencil bait right there. You can see the little foot, the little foot at the end there. That's the foot that he used to dig with. And the rest of the bait, it's just in between those two shells that you can see right there. Subsistence people actually eat these pencil bait. And people overseas actually eat them and they think they're quite a delicacy. In South Africa, we haven't gotten that far yet. But uh, I reckon I'm going to get Ken to try. <laughs> Can you see the little anchor he makes? He actually bulges that little muscle out at the bottom there like that. So once you have your five pencil bait, don't take more than what you need. And then you can always come back another day. Well, that was it for the pencil bait. See what we have in store for you next time on Derek's Diary. <laughs>